Hey everyone, this is the Dynamic Continuum. I'm wanting to talk a little bit here today about yield estimates and just reading and understanding what your corn is trying to tell you, what your crop is trying to tell you. Um, things are moving along really fast here um, around Iowa, probably too fast. Things are dying and they shouldn't be dying for another month. Disease is taken over. Kernels aren't getting filled all the way. We got small kernels and not full ears. There's issues going on and it all lays down or it all comes back to the soil. We're identifying those issues. We're overcoming them um, with better management practices and products. And uh, but one so go out to your farm though, check it out, read what the corn is trying to tell you. So um, you know going and looking at how many rows around your ear has and how many kernels long evaluate some of that tip back you know some of these current some of these ears of corn are tiny not good leaving a lot there this is not what our corn is supposed to look like even this ear is not anything special but evaluating the so corn is determining the number of ovules to put on early in the year when corn is like less than knee high v5 v6 so early part of the year you know in that's essentially june 1st um, so throughout May and June, the weather, uh, the nutrient availability, the stress that that corn has on it is super critical because at that point, we're going to determine the number of ovules that the ear is going to put on and it can only go down from there. So you have to make sure that at the beginning part of the year that you're giving the crop the best chance that it can to succeed. So an ear like this that has plenty of rows around was sitting pretty good at the beginning part of the year. That means we had the right nutrient availability at the beginning of the year and not a lot of stress. That's a good thing. Now at the end, we're leaving a little bit on the table. We're not getting a full ear. Kernels are okay, but nothing too special. There's something that's missing there. That's where we're looking at things like boron and sulfur and whatnot. Maybe nitrogen, but that's typically not been the case around here. We've got tons of nitrogen going on. It's that we're not utilizing the nitrogen and turn it in, turn it into ears. Then you got some crappy ears like this little one that doesn't have the kernels around at all. It was stressed early on and obviously stressed all throughout the year. Um, some things got to change on these, but understand where your crop is at and uh, be able to read it better. So now when to talk about um, kind of our soil program that we're deploying here now at scale to be able to go and address these issues. So go to your farm, evaluate. If you're not happy, call us up. We want to help. Um, we've got the right tools to be able to look at your soils more in depth than we ever have been before and to help figure out the underlying factors of what's going on in these different situations, deploy better management practices and products to help you to overcome. Our right way soil sampling program is a zone soil sampling program that looks beyond just a basic soil sampling system, but also looks at Haney soil health data as well to look at what is your total nutrients that are available and then what's ac total nutrients in the soil versus what's actually available right now. So the difference there is essentially that's your liabilities. You have everything in the soil versus what's actually available. The rest is sitting there, not really able to be used. Um, liabilities that we can't necessarily tap into right now. The Haney test has shown us what's actually available. That's our assets. That's what we can utilize today to help us to produce a lot of corn. So now we're looking at that liabilities as how do we tap into that? How do we create a cash flow? And how do we utilize the soil as a checking account, not just a locked away um, savings or CD that we can't tap into? We've got to be able to access that. We've got to have those interactions going. That's where it's the micronutrient balances the chemical balances in the soil and biological balances, getting the interactions going. And that's what we can now identify with advanced soil testing parameters and deploy best practices to help your operation and to maximize and optimize your operation and every acre of it. So running all through all that and learn the heck of a lot. So uh, contact us for more info. Thank you.